All right, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College. Going to work on the song When I Fall in Love. Oh, I just love Natalie Cole. She's so great. So many versions to listen to, and they're all, uh, you know, very similar, really. Um, uh, one thing I hear a lot is, when I fall, you know, D over D flat there. Let's put that in E flat. When I fall in love, it will be forever. this is love is ended before it's begun and too many moonlight kisses seem to cool in the warmth of the sun when I give my heart it will be completely or I'll never give my heart and the moment I can feel that you feel that way fall in love with you all right tony winston here for jazz piano college going to work on the song when i fall in love and by request to sorry it took me so long to get to it um Listen to a few versions natalie cole is just terrific uh, nat king cole does it in d flat Keith Jarrett does it in F and starts, uh, I'm going to do it in E flat because that's my key. Down in the description there, there's a few links. There's a link to my Patreon page if you would like to support the channel. Um, there's also some time stamps. It's all down there in the time stamp, so you just hit the time and it'll skip you ahead to where you want to be in the video. Um, but Keith Jarrett starts it like this. It's four chords, one for each quarter note there, and it's uh, and this is not going to be a, like a beginner video. This is more a little bit more advanced. We're going to do mostly open voicings, right? Spread we spread the notes out. So I've got E flat here first, and I put no major seventh in there. I just have a second that gives it a nice sweet sound, and then put the E flat in next, or do the Keith Jarrett version. This is a D7, it's got a lot of tension, and then D flat seven, and then a C7 here, and F minor seventh. Okay? And you know, typically when you do these open voicings, you got a root and a seventh in the left hand, especially on dominant chords. Um, you know, sometimes you'll have a, a root and a fifth if it's a major chord or a minor chord, but the dominant chord is almost always going to be like that. And this is a minor seventh. And here we got B flat. And back to here. Now, they give some reharmonization here, which is very similar. It's actually exactly what Keith Jarrett does, except instead of going up like this to A flat, he does the tritone substitution, which gives it a little more tension. But, you know, I like this way too. Now I put the major seventh in. And here I like a major seventh chord here as well. Now the problem with this real book chart is, is this is Sam Rivers' version of it in a new conception. And, you know, he's reharmonized the tune. 
the, the original is a lot more simple. And, you know, I like some of it. All right, there's a nice F7. And I put a 13 in there, too. So you got the, got the uh, root and the 7 there. And then it's pretty easy to just get to a, a B chord there. And then B flat. Now, I played a triad there in this. What could I have left out? I could leave out the E for sure. I mean, the G there, because I got it up here. Um, you know, I could even leave out the B flat too. And here, I got to disagree with that a, a, A7 there. Save that for the second ending when there's a little bit more emotional uh, commitment going on there. Uh, you know, by knowing the lyrics of the song, you know that's that's a more of a emotional point in the second uh, ending there. So first ending, I just do a one six two five. <laughs> All right, and Yeah, so uh, I, uh, that D7 just does not sound right to me. I go to the D flat seven, and then you do a tritone substitution to G7, and because the chord voicing has some different notes in it, like going from there to there, it sounds kind of like a different chord, even though it's really just the tritone substitution of the same damn chord. So. Usually, if you if you go from like a you know a dominant seventh chord to its tritone, you don't get much harmonic motion. You know, it's almost the same. But uh, you know, here because you know the voicing was quite a bit different, it did sound like we were going from one chord to the next. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I ever do that, that little C7 change there. All right. So thinking tritone again on the C7th, you know, that plus sign usually just means altered. Uh, it, it actually means that note, and it's in the melody. But, uh, you know, you can alter a bunch of other stuff too. The flat 9, the sharp 11. And look, that's a... That, you're in C, this is an F sharp major chord, a tritone away. That will automatically give you a lot of dissonance over your C7 there. Leave the five out, and then you can play F, F sharp, or you can play, we'll call it G flat maybe, and play an A flat chord too. You can play an A chord. What else can you play? You can play a D chord. There's so many major chords you can just stick right over that, or E flat minor gives you a lot of dissonance too. So kind of knowing those little triads that you can stick up there, it saves you a little bit of time in thinking about, you know, coming up with a nice chord, you know, just try one of those triads. Uh, so where were we? See, that doesn't fit so well because that's the melody. And so what else would work? Um, the A flat chord. But see, you're going from F to that one. There's not much, not much change there because it's the same thing. You know, I mean, it really is a different chord, but it just doesn't sound that much different. So, there's a nice one. You got C sharp minor there. C sharp minor there is another triad. Gives you a, you know, this is an easy one to think of too, because, you know, your C, and you go up a half step, play a minor triad, you know. And I don't know, sometimes beginners ask me this question Will that work in another key? Well, of course it will. F se F7, just go up half step, minor triad. Yeah. Yeah. Every key functions exactly the same. 
you know, the layout of the black keys and the white keys is different, but, uh, you know, that's the equal temperament system. Everything works equally well in any key. See, that time I actually did, did the tritone substitution, you know, went to F sharp there. C is better. Okay, back to the top. Yeah, another kind of cool way. Well, let's see, this is really just A flat triad over the C again. This time I went to the seventh. Second ending. All right. Now this is the jazz chord of all time. It's an A7 with a flat five. Nowadays they tend to call it a sharp 11, but uh, you know the old school guys thought of it as a flat five. And if you if you listen to Art Tatum a lot, I mean you're just going to hear this this kind of all the time. You know, he uses it uh, quite a bit. So. Now, how pretty is that? Okay, you've got the major seventh with a nine and the sharp 11. See, this is another thing you can think of too. If you have a, a major chord, you can put these different triads above it. It's not too many that'll work, but in this case, we've got that one, B flat over A flat, All right? Will it work in any key? Of course. <laughs> Here's a nice voicing, look. Fifths, fifths. Sharp nine on that D chord. And then, now I could do the same voicing on a minor chord. Fifths and fifths. Right. And here, So if you think um, F to B flat, you could do F sharp to B first, and then F to B flat, or maybe try that D flat in there. Ah, oh, that's a nice change. Let's play the second ending. Ooh, church chord, that's not gonna work. All right. I don't mean any disrespect by that. Right here, that E E flat. Put the B flat in the bass right there. And there's a you know historical reasons for doing this.
called a surprise ending when you go, you know do something people don't expect. When I fall in love with you, you know, any way to harmonize that uh, last note, and then you know, go back to the root chord there if you need to. You know, you don't have to always. Uh, let's see what else can I talk about in this song. Oh, that was a little modulation there at the end, you know. I went, went up a minor third. And then back down. And this is the classic surprise ending. It's just go up a half step and play a major seventh chord. Especially if the uh, uh, melody is the root. Uh, playing around with the vocalist, you know. Well, let me sing a little bit. When I fall in love, it will be forever, or I'll never fall. <laughs> kind of hard to do both things at the same time, but um, now I think what I'll do is. <clears throat> is uh, I'll try to play this song in a girl key, and uh, let's make it uh, let's make it B flat. So we have to remember that the songs, the melody note starts on the fifth, okay, and then you know. You've got to be able to kind of do this by ear. This is part of learning how to improvise, is just figuring things out by ear. Um, so we know the melody in our head. Let's see if we can pick it out. All right. See, it's not hard. All right, maybe try a different key. Try A. You know, knowing the A major scale will help.
I'll uh, take the chart and write down the chords that I like. And, uh, you know, you do the same, you know, find the, find the uh, chords that, uh, that suit the way you like to hear this song. Um, you know, listen to all the different versions, Nat King Cole, Natalie Cole, uh, uh, Rick Astley, you know, did a, did a nice version of it. Michael Bubble, Michael Bubble, Michael Bublé. <laughs> Hopefully uh, this video will be helpful to you and um, you know some of the reharms are pretty interesting so uh, you know if you uh, got anything out of it give me a thumbs up and uh, of course uh, please subscribe or go check out my Patreon page. I'm going to put up something uh, for my Patreon people um, today. It's going to be the album that I recorded back in like 2001. Uh, got a good singer on this album. Denise Donatelli sings a couple of songs. I sing the rest of them. All the arrangements were by me. It's got a six-piece horn section on about half of the tunes. And uh, they'll all be available for download. Now, I'm just going to do this for my Patreon people this month, but I'll put the stuff out for everybody uh, when I get around to doing it, uh, probably next month sometime. Okay, thanks, everybody, and uh, check back again with me soon. And be sure to leave a comment, you know, make a suggestion, things that you uh, uh, want me to do more videos about. I'd be happy to do it. All right, thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.